What's going on guys? My name is Halfman, also known as Halfman Live on Twitch.tv. Um, today we're just going to give a brief and quick review of the Overkill's The Walking Dead beta. I have been so hyped about this game for the last four years since they did a little teaser for it when I was playing Payday 2 back in the day. And I, I can't tell you how hyped I was to play this game for the last two days. And we played it a lot. We played almost 24 hours worth of this game in the last two days. So. Without further ado, I want to just do a little bit of talking about it, what I enjoyed about it, what things I think should be improved on it, just in my opinion. Uh, we did talk to some of the developers today and in the last couple of days too, and I have to say they have been doing a fantastic job. You know, little things like here and there, things that I would have said you know need to be fixed are already going to be fixed on this Friday, like say the VoIP, where the VoIP where you can't mute it, where you can't stop people from, or you can't, or you can't have push talk. So those things... Are already being fixed so i'm not even going to talk on those i'm happy so thank you overkill for seeing your community's feedback on those two things and even the mouse sensitivity that too so thank you for seeing that feedback and you know adjusting it which is awesome so thank you very much for doing that um we'll just talk about some of the things i think that could be improved in the game uh, as far as gameplay and different different stuff like that uh first thing i would say i would start with is the human ai hit hitbox detection Seemed a little off for the last two days of playing it. Uh, when you shoot some of them, whether you shoot them in the head or you shoot them in the body, uh, the hit detection actually never registered. It would just act like as if the bullet went right through them and nothing actually hit them. Or if you would actually hit the target, like so you shoot them in the head and it gives you the hit marker, they wouldn't die. Now that could be as just the difficulty setting. I don't know. I have to look further into it as we continue on the beta this Friday, but we'll have to see. So that, that's the only biggest thing I could see with the human AI was just the hitbox detection. I mean, we're always used to the laser laser shots that, that these AI usually have, so that's that's nothing new. I've been used to this since Payday 2. Um, actually, the only other thing I'd say about the, the human AI is, is maybe take a look at the shooting through walls. Like, they'll be behind a wall, like just for instance, for on, on Hell or High Waters, when you first meet up with the first set of group of AI, some of them, they're, they're in the actual building. They, they can shoot you through the wall and you can't see them. So that's something you, you may want to take a look at. That's just my suggestion because, yeah, there would be times where you get down and you find out that AI was behind a wall. Okay, then. So that would be one of the biggest things. Um, the horde mode. I was playing a ton of the horde mode today. That's, I mean, that's what I call the first mission. It's basically a horde mode protecting your, your, your home base and whatnot. I was playing a lot of solo. I wanted to see if it was even possible. I didn't know if I think if it was going to be easy or not, so I tested it out. And it turns out it was super, super easy, in my opinion. I, I played Overkill games for the longest time, so someone understand the mechanics of their game. And I have to say, even though it's normal mode, I understand it's normal mode, but compared to playing with, say, four people versus playing with just myself, there was a humongous difference on difficulty on normal. Even on normal hard difficulty, it was super, super easy soloing it versus doing four people. I had a better success rate by myself versus four people. So my suggestion, maybe just bump up the difficulty just a little bit, just just a tad bit. It doesn't have to be crazy, crazy, but just, just bump up a little bit. That's just that's my opinion. I like hard games. I feel like if we're going to be playing a game like this, it should be a little more difficult. Um, other, other things I think could be improved. Um, gosh. What do I say? They need food. I feel like a little bit some of the stuff in the horde mode, like say grabbing like the boards, grabbing some of the ammo. Maybe take should take a little bit longer grabbing them. Like the boards is pretty much instant. You just grab and go, grab and go, grab and go. Maybe take the timer down just a little bit, make it a little bit more longer time to grab because as it seems right now, it's very. I I understand it's supposed to be a fast paced game, but you're making it. It feels like it's too easy to get back to the door grabbing that board and instantly back to repairing it if you're watching the gameplay in the background you can see how fast i can repair one part of the door run get some boards and get back there it's super super fast it takes less than probably five seconds to do it unless there's zombies in there so that'd be one of the only other things i would say maybe tweak a little bit in my opinion uh some good things i loved about the game the graphics my goodness you guys have improved a ton in the last four years i mean i i was expecting it obviously with technology in the last four years that's changed. You've done a fantastic job, especially going from the Valhalla engine over to the Unreal Engine. That was that was, that was a perfect decision, in my opinion. It, the game looks gorgeous. It looks fantastic. The guns look fantastic. They sound great. They look great. Uh, the gunplay is fantastic. 
uh, I, I haven't seen a game in a while where it has the jamming feature in it. And as much as that was like, oh, God, I'm going to die because this thing is jammed. That was amazing having the jammed in there. So kudos to you guys doing that. Um, the other thing I liked the, uh, a lot about the, the game is still you had the core mechanics from like Payday 2 where I had to go find the item. So like the water pur purifier in Hell or High Water. Yes. Hell or High, yeah, Hell or High Water. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, anyway, um, where you had to go find the purifier and you actually had to grab the parts. It wasn't just, hey, you got to it, mission uh, successful. No, it was you had to grab the parts, extract with them, and then you could get out. That was That was awesome. I enjoyed that very, very much. Uh, gosh, beyond that, what else did I enjoy the most out of this game? Customization, the mods and the, and the guns were cool. I'm not sure if you're only able to have just one mod on each weapon. I'm guessing that's the case, which is fine. I can deal with that, I can get it. You're trying to make it so the weapons aren't super overpowered, which is good. Only putting one attachment on, so you have to either go super loud and have like a like a ACOG scope, or have put, say, a silencer on it and be fully stealth. As a trade-off in each end, I understand why you do that, so I like it. Good job on that part. Um, since you guys did talk about what you're going to be fixing on Friday, everyone's been asking me to give a solid number out of 10. Um, if I wouldn't have seen you guys doing the fixes on that stuff, I would have probably said the beta, in my opinion, for the first two days would have been a solid 6 out of 10. But since I talked to Saul today and a couple of the developers the last couple of days, about these things getting fixed, I would say it's a solid 7.5 out of 10 at the moment. Things can be fixed. There's always time. Yes, there's only three weeks left, but knowing you guys and how you deal with the community, how fantastic you are with us, I have I don't see an issue with you guys fixing things whatsoever. You're going to do a fantastic job. That's just my opinion. Um, so we're going to continue on with the beta. Friday through Monday, the 12th through the 15th, we're going to be definitely continuing on. And we're going to be doing some more reviews. By Monday, we'll have the second part up. And you guys will be able to check that out, too. We'll send more feedback once again, obviously. Uh, the biggest thing, biggest thing is biggest thing. From Overkill, you guys are amazing, first of all. You guys sent me 10 more beta keys to give away. So, if you guys are watching this, make sure you drop by on Friday between 5.30 a.m. and 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to have a chance to win a beta key for, the, for Overkill's The Walking Dead beta. Okay? Make sure you stop by because I want to make sure I get those to you guys that are really, really wanting to play it but don't want to spend the money. Uh, beyond that, guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. Like I said, we'll have another review up for you very soon. Overkill, you guys did a fantastic job on this game. Again, everything can always be improved, and it will be, and I know you guys do a fantastic job. So until, until then, guys, I will see you either on Friday for the stream or I will see you Monday for the next review. Have a great night.